Today we're going to cover questions 227 to 232 in the Catechism, that's page 82 and 83, focusing mainly on question 227 since the other ones basically expand on that one. So question 227, how should the Holy Scriptures shape your daily life? And the answer, I should hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by the sustaining power of God's word, I may grow in grace and hold fast to the hope given me in Jesus Christ. So this phrase, hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that phrase comes from a prayer in our prayer book, a prayer used for the second Sunday in Advent each year. How should Holy Scripture shape our daily lives? We should hear and read and mark and learn and inwardly digest God's Word, the Bible. And so notice how all-encompassing this is. Hear the Bible, listen to it, read it yourself, mark, not underline and write in, though you can, uh, but take careful note of, mark it, uh, take careful note of the message and the passages that you read. Learn it. Don't just let it go in one ear and out the other, but learn it and study and memorize God's Word. And inwardly digest it. Let it sink down deep in your heart and soul. And as you read uh, the other questions in this section, questions 228 to 232, you'll find some practical suggestions in ways that you can do these things. But read the Bible consistently and humbly and with faith. And we find something remarkable as we do this, as we read faithfully. It says in question 232, as I absorb scripture, it deepens my knowledge of God. This is the most important thing in the world for us to do, to deepen our knowledge of and our love for God. Letting God's word sink down deep in us, letting his word shape us, and uh, in this process uh, of letting it shape us and letting it sink down in us, we actually come to know God better. We don't just come to know a book better, but we come to know the Lord better. My grandmother died when I was 19 years old. We called her Rari. That was our name for her. But when Rari died, uh, a bishop who was a friend of the family spoke at her funeral, and he said this about my grandmother. He said, quote, I've remembered it to this day. He said, she loved the word of God, and she loved the author of the word of God. And the fact is that my grandmother devoted herself to reading and studying the Word of God, the Bible, and as a result of that, she had come to deeply love the author of the Word of God, to love God himself. See, when we immerse ourselves in the Word of God, not just in an academic exercise, though there's certainly space for academic reading and studying of the Bible, but as we read it and inwardly digest God's Word, it deepens our knowledge of and our love for the Lord. It also shapes the lens through which we see the world. It helps us see the world rightly, and it guides our actions and our attitudes. That's from question 232. But the Word of God, when read faithfully and humbly, helps us understand the world that God has made. It shapes our minds and our hearts, and ultimately it deepens our knowledge of and love for God himself. So as we hear, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest the Holy Scriptures, may we be a people who love the Word of God. And as a result, may we also be people who love the author of the Word of God, our Lord himself. So to close, I want to pray um, a prayer for spiritual direction and protection that comes from page 66 in the Catechism. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Direct our heartfelt desires and defend us against our enemy, that we may pray according to your will. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen.